Hi friends, hope you are doing well. I'm Dr. Ganguly. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about a scholarship which lets you do a PhD in a top university in the UK. And this PhD can be done in a period of 3.5 years. So this is the President's PhD scholarship given by Imperial College London. Now you know that Imperial College is often ranked among the top 10 or certainly the top 15 universities in the world in most of the rankings out there. So you can take advantage of this particular scholarship. Now this scholarship is open to students who are in various disciplines and let us look at some of the fields where you can apply for the scholarship. Now one of the reasons you can apply is that you are in that area, you are somebody who is in a tertiary area and so on. So these fields include aeronautics, bioengineering, chemical engineering, civil engineering, computing, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, materials engineering, brain science, chemical science, surgery, public welfare, chemistry, life science, mathematics, genomics, Italian, Russian, science communication, data science, climate change, molecular science and so on. So you can see that there are various departments in this university. It's a very large university and you can go to the different web pages and check out the different departments and you can think about where you want to do your PhD degree in. Now some of the benefits which are going to come to you from this fellowship are that it provides 100% of the tuition fee, they provide the living costs and this is approximately 25,000 pounds per year and they also give you some consumables of up to 2,000 pounds each year for a period of three years. Now like I mentioned before this PhD is supposed to be completed in three and a half years so it's something which will certainly encourage you and your advisor to finish your PhD in three years or so because your scholarship is going to end after that period. Now this fellowship is open to UK and international students so there is no barrier in terms of nationality. Now certain things are of course required to get this fellowship. Now they very clearly mention that they would like to have people who are toppers in the UG and the master's program. So this is very interesting. The word topper is explicitly mentioned here. This is something I have seen after a long time. Now at least you should be first class. They prefer people who have distinctions. For example, if you are somebody who is in a university which gives you distinctions, that is certainly going to help. If you have any kind of gold medal and so on, I'm certain that that's going to help you here. Now an advantage here is that this fellowship is open to people who have bachelor's and master's degree. So certainly there are a lot of people nowadays who have completed bachelor's degree and they want to do a direct PhD. So this is one of those scenarios where you can get a fully funded direct PhD and you can get it in three and a half years and you are on your way to be called a doctor and you may even acquire a British accent while you are doing this. So let us see some of the information which you may have to give. You have to of course furnish your transcript and if you have finished your degree you have to give your college degree. You have to be accepted by a potential supervisor at the department where you want to go to. So this is certainly going to be an interesting pre-filter type of process because you will have to send out the regular emails to these people and you are going to have to convince them that not only you are going to be able to meet the requirements of the university but also that you have some problem or you are somebody who is likely to contribute to this professor's own research lab and his academic career because that's the reason why PhD supervisors typically hire students. Now let's look at some more of the things which are required and all these things you need to submit to the online application on the Imperial College website. I'm going to leave a link to that application in the description box in the video. So you have to write a statement of purpose which is a maximum of 1000 years and like you know in any PhD admission scenario or scholarship scenario statement of purpose is very important because this is the chance where you get to show yourself as a person to the committee concerned, to the professors concerned and so on. Because most of the remaining things which are out there, for example, the transcripts, the awards you have obtained, the different distinctions you have obtained and so on are generally good for most of the top applicants who make it into the shortlist. So what often comes out is the kind of statement of purpose the person has written. So this should certainly make the case as to what has led you in the evolution 
the, the process of becoming a good scholar in your field to becoming a scientist or somebody who wants to contribute substantially to the field and what are the things which you see in the imperial college system and in the various professors and lab which will further your journey here. So there is a very typical algorithm about writing the statement of purpose. I have made a video on that. I will leave it in the end screen. But the basic idea is that you need to make your case about how your particular growth throughout life has led to the present moment where you feel the need for this Imperial College President Scholarship so that that will propel you to the next level of academic or research stardom. So this is something you want to clearly lay out. Now beside this there may be many more documents which may be required by the department so they are going to ask you for that. Furthermore, you are going to require two academic referees. So these referees can be somebody who has supervised your master's thesis or your bachelor's degree thesis, or maybe it's somebody in whose class you have done relatively well. It's likely to be some professor or teacher in your college. So again, pick out somebody who knows how to write good reference letters. I have made some videos on that. I'm going to leave one in the end screen. So make sure that they clearly write out all your strengths and so on because this is a very competitive fellowship. So it must be such that the letters of reference should be very good. So you should cultivate letters of references right from the point you are a bachelor degree student in your first year and so on and try to make a good impression on the professor. So take part in various activities in research in the department, maybe try to get some of the interns which are out there for UG and master's degree students and these will certainly help to cement your case. They also bolster the case because you may be able to get more references out of some other professors out there. So that's again something which helps you. Now they clearly mention that this referee set should not include the prospective PhD supervisor at Imperial College. So do not ask him to write a letter on your behalf. These have to be somebody else. Now, one of the things they mention is that the referee should use the words they and them and not to use gender pronouns. So that's something you need to look at. They are going with the modern political theory on these matters. Now, you may also need to come up with a research plan in conjunction with the professor. So you should be somebody who has a good idea about what research you want to do and so on. Now, of course, when you write emails to professors, make sure that you have done some prior work on their research background you know what are the papers they have published, which are the journals they have published in and so on. And after doing research through their web page and Google Scholar, you can finally zoom into the particular professor and department you are interested in and then you can write a proper email to them. In all these emails, always make it a point to mention about what is the thing you can contribute to this professor and his lab rather than saying simply that you are interested in going there and please give me some kind of problem to do because generally what is expected for a PhD student that they have developed independent research capabilities. They are independent in terms of their thinking and it's they who actually come up with the problems and then the supervisor simply helps him or her to solve this particular problem. So these are some of the things to consider in the president scholarship for imperial college remember they give out 50 of these scholarships each year so the process is quite competitive but i would say if you are somebody who has done well in your studies who has been studying hard through all his bachelor's degree years and maybe even master's degree years then this is something you can aspire for you get to stay in london you get paid money to do your phd and hopefully you will become a much better person at the end of this particular scholarship journey so this was my video for today and I will see you in a video sometime soon. See you then.